Hello, Redibrix Customs here. Back with another video today. We have a FNAF World showcase for the fifth anniversary of FNAF World. So, without further ado, let's get into it. To start off with showcase, we have um, Adventure Fredbear. I know FNAF World is a uh, decently dead game at this point, but like, I still love it to this day. But like, I don't want to make more customs on it because I already have over 100 FNAF minifigures. Just saying. Other than that, let's get into the showcase. Okay, so starting off with his arms, I indented them with a pliers and I painted the insides of them black. It's not my best work because like I had a fun time mangle in the past. Uh, adventure mangle, fun time adventure, fun time foxy. But sold it. I sculpted it on his toes, as you can see they kind of bulge out a bit. And I did poorly paint the black. With, and I used enamels on this too. So that kind of ruins the legs, honestly. Used enamels at the time, but it ruined a lot of brushes. Here's his back, nothing on the back too, too much. His head is completely sculpted by me. In his torso, I sculpted the two buttons and a bow tie. Sorry, this guy does not stand up too well. His eyes aren't the best. I should have gave him upper teeth because I forgot these guys had upper teeth when I was making him. And I gotta repaint him a lot. Or just re-sculpt the whole entire head entirely. Take off jaw and re-sculpt it. Yeah, this one's a really rushed figure. I really don't like how this one looks, so... I painted on the blue, the black, and the white. I gave him the eyebrows, the purple for his top hat and bow tie. Other than that, it's basically a really simple figure, so not too too much detail, not too much went into him. But it is a really rushed figure, I'm just saying that right now. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. Adventure out of this, the, the last of the minifigures and the last adventure minifigure out of this bunch is Adventure Nightmare. As you can see here, he is completely um, painted black with dark silver outlines on his, and I did indent the thing like I did for Adventure Fredbear, indent the arms. His head is brand new because I did have an older head, but that thing fell apart, honestly. <laughs> it fell apart. His torso is surprisingly still intact for being in like for being made in 2016 or 15. No, not 2016. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, 2016 or 2017. I painted on his toes with silver and indents in the um, animatronic silver. This does not go all around on all four sides because I'm lazy sometimes. Oh crap, it's busted. Sorry, this guy um, kind of breaks sometimes. I sanded down the peg too much. His head is completely sculpted by me. I sculpted his bare muzzle, his teeth, his torso, his buttons, which I did paint in a dark gunmetal gray. As you can see right there, it's darker than the gray. Sorry about the lighting isn't the best, but he has his angry eyes with the red pupils. I'm not red pupils, red iris and the orange pupils. It's just really hard to see. I'll bring this a little bit closer. You can see the orange pupils. Yeah, next to our mini dolls, I'm just going to get that out of the way first. Yeah, a really simple figure. Um, let's move on to the puppets. To start off with the adventure puppet, I used a Lego Friends mini doll. It's probably like the only times I'm gonna use the mini dolls is for like, you know, FNAF world, because I wanna make them look cute and stuff. And it was FNAF, FNAF, um, FNAF World's fifth anniversary yesterday, and I was gonna upload this, but I got really depressed. I don't know why. Just didn't feel like making anything. Not even customs. So here is the puppet, pinned on two white buttons. And there you are, sculpted on. I send it down the nose how it has it, so it has this max mask shape. Um, this is made back in 2016 or 17, so the lines ain't that good. I tried fixing them, but still didn't look too good on the arms. I'm gonna repaint it eventually, just give me time. But yeah, I, all it is is just like, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I did um, cut off the toe so I can give it a more stubby look. Yeah, I really like how this figure looks, except for the arms. But other than that, really good figure. I really do enjoy it. I did give it all the iconic stuff that the puppet has. No reason to go into that. And yeah, let's move on to the Phantom one. And I didn't realize this was in the background. Alright, for the Phantom puppet, Adventure Phantom puppet, um, it's nothing much, actually. 
it's way different than the, you know, the casual, light-hearted tone puppet, creepy light tone puppet. And don't say I did it something inaccurate, this is actually in the game, it does have a Bertif in the game. For some reason, I don't know why, you gotta, I'm not gonna, I don't, really don't know why. I really don't know why. Okay. So, basically, I did the same thing for Stubbs with the, you know, original puppet. Except, like, it, you can barely see it, but I did paint it green and give it a wash. Uh, gosh, like, you can't really see because how much crap has gotten on here. On the arms, you can see it decently. Yeah, right around this area, you can see the small pinch of green. I didn't do it the same thing I did on the other puppet, because, like, I already painted his face, and it took me, like, five or six times, actually. Despite how simple it looks. I tried to make it exactly like this, just a little bit more happier and creepier. And, yeah. Painted in green, purple, and red, and a black wash. And, yeah. That's basically it. For the Adventure Phantom Puppet, let's move on to the conclusion of this video. Alrighty, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I hope to see you guys next time with a different video, maybe not FNAF. I just did this because it was the FNAF, FNAF um, fifth or sixth anniversary of FNAF World. So, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time, and yeah, bye.